Hello. This morning we are going to be talking about how to transfer Steam from Bitrex or Poloniex to Steamit account. But in this video tutorial, I am going to be describing how to transfer Steam from Bitrex to Steamit account. Because for some time now I've been trading Steam on Bitrex, but it's basically the same process. The process is the same when you want to transfer Steam from from each of these from either of these exchanges to Steam it account. So let's quickly go straight to the tutorial. But before then, I would like to quickly give a, a little background. How did I come about this? This afternoon, I was trying to because I just got fed up. I placed a bad trade. That was what happened. I placed a a bad trade that somewhat backfired <laughs> yes it did because instead of placing a trade when there was a bearish trend i placed a trade when there was a bullish trend hoping to make two pips just two pips when it was between 2.5 when steam the price of steam was between 2.5 and uh, 2.8 so i placed that trade 2.5 and 2.6 i think so i placed that trade hoping to quickly sell when it got to 2.8 or thereabout and what did i see the bears came out the bears came out and we saw that downward trend in steam so today i had to cry out for assistance because i just said to myself okay if i sell if i sell this team now that i bought when it was very high i'm going to lose i'm going to lose so much money that i, I don't want to lose so okay it's better for me to just transfer this team from the exchange to my steam it account and power up so that was what i had in mind but I didn't really I was not too sure of how to go about that so what I did was that I tried to transfer three steam from my Bitrex account to my Steamit account and what happened oops up till now that I'm talking to you I can't find that steam or those steam rather that those steam tokens that I sent so clearly that was a mistake that I made on my part so and I I cried out for help and uh, I got help from a very good soul and he is the one now who has inspired me to his help and assistance has inspired me to make this video because usually for me it's easier I watch videos and it's easier for me to understand things from watching video okay granted it's good to read to read manuals you know but I tell you, it's way, 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 way easier to just watch a video tutorial and then immediately you'll be able to, to do whatever it is you want to do using the video tutorial. So now let's go straight to it. How I was able to succeed to do my transfer. Now I want to do another transfer. So this is my account my stitch account and this is my bitrex account hmm. for some reason my internet is really slow this night i don't know what the hell is going on well whatever it is i think that is slow it has never been this slow. What is going on? What is really going on? What is going on? What is going on? Okay. So at Leon at Leon was came to my aid. He came to my aid and he gave me he attached this um guide. Poloniex guy, he called it. 
and he said it's very similar to Bitrex. So I should use that. I used it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, please. I used it and it worked out for me. So that is why I am doing this tutorial. Just in case any other person out there has trouble. Hopefully this tutorial will help will help the person to be able to do his or her transfers. Yes, this is the Bitrex platform where I have been trading for some and transfer my Steam tokens to my Steam it account. So what do I do? Here I have 235 Steam available. If I want, I can transfer all. Is that you click on wallet? You click on your wallet. You click on your wallet, and your wallet opens right before you. So now you go to. You see, you have plus, you minus. So you don't want to add Steam. Rather, you want to remove Steam from the platform. So you click on minus, you click on the minus sign, and then you have this dialog box opened up before you. So now you see you have memo and then you have registered account. This was where I made the mistake the first time. So you have memo, you have registered account, you have quantity, and then tax fee and withdrawal. So what you want to do is to go to is to go to your Steemit account, click on the photo icon, you click on the photo icon, and you go to your wallet, or you can decide to go to wallet directly without having to click on the photo icon, but either way, you will be able to, to get to your wallet, that is what is important in this video just for you to get to your wallet okay now now guys i am right in my wallet and do i want to do what do i want to do here i want to go to permissions i want to click on permissions so i click on permissions sorry Yes, I click on permissions. Is that yes? What happens is that I have four different options. Permissions. I have posting option. I have active. I have owner, and I have memo. So what I want to do is to go to the memo. Is to select the memo. So I click on it. I click on it, and I select the key. The memo key is used to create and read memos. So I select the I select everything. I copy it. I copy it, then I go to I go to my trading platform, in this case Bitrex. In this memo field, I paste what I have copied. So this is it. So this is it. So but please always go back to double check. This is very important. Go back to double check so that you don't make a mistake. Okay, STM8 M51Z. Okay, that is it. Then registered account. Registered account is my name. Mary Favor. Registered account. The quantity, okay. I want to I want to withdraw 35. I want to withdraw 35 steam from from my account. That is from my from my wallet on the exchange to my wallet in Steamit account. So automatically it shows you how much the tax fee is is 0 0.01 on this particular exchange. I don't know how much it is on Poloniex because I don't trade on Poloniex. Then the withdrawal, so <coughs> withdrawal is 34.99. So at the end of the day, I'm going to get 34.99 steam 
in my Steemit wallet at the end of the day. So I click on withdrawal. Please verify your withdrawal address. We cannot refund an incorrect withdrawal. So I have already double checked. That is the reason why you have to always double check. Check that your, your, your address is correct. So you click on withdrawal and you confirm your withdrawal. Now guys, after confirming withdrawal, do not just run away. This withdrawal is not going to happen if you do not go to your, your account. If you do not go to your email to accept withdrawal. So what I want to do is to go to my email. I want to go to my email, the email with which I registered my account, my Bittrex account. That is where I want to go on them. Okay. So I want to, you would want to go to your email to confirm the withdrawal. That is so important, without which your withdrawal will not pull through. It will not go through. And you will be wondering, uh, what has happened to my money? Nothing has happened. It's just that you have not confirmed your withdrawal. So this has happened to me several times, guys. It has happened to me several times. Okay, so I log in. I log into my email. And... Okay, so bitrex.com withdrawal verification. Okay, so I have just read the mail now that is telling me to verify my withdrawal. So dear Ikme Crypto, thank you for using Bitrex. So amount 35 Steam, I want to withdraw. So what I do, click on the link below. That is it. So I have confirmed the withdrawal. Okay. Withdrawal confirmation successful. No going back, guys. If you make mistake, if you have made a mistake at this stage, sorry your steam tokens have disappeared and i'm sure you wouldn't want that okay so in a couple of minutes those tokens should be seen in my wallet my steam it wallet i should see them in my wallet <laughs> So that is basically how to, how to do the transfer. It's that simple. It is not difficult, but it's a process that you really need to do very carefully. Failing to lose your coins. Your coins will disappear. You know the Telling me you keep 34.99 from Bitrex. So, box guys. So, look at it. I have two minutes ago, I have received 34.990 steam from Bitrex. So, that is how to do the transfer. And now I want to power up. I want to power up the 35 steam. So, what do I do? I just click on Steam. I like to power up. I like to power up. Power up. I like to have Steam power. More Steam power. 
<laughs> steam power, 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 steam power. Okay, so you see, here I have how many options? One, two, three, four, five. Five different options. And the options are transfer. I don't want to transfer. Transfer to savings. That is not what I want. Power up. Yes, that is what I want. So I click on power up. I click on the power up option how many steam do i want to power up out of what i have so i want to power up 35 for example now so i just click on power up i click on power up and i sign in i sign in So from 4,300, I should have 4,300. That is it, guys. So it has showed up. So from 4,300, I now have 4,335 Steam Power in my account. It's how to, that is how to transfer your Steam from your exchange to your steam to your steam it wallet rather so that is how to do that transfer so liked the video tutorial give me upvotes thank you very much and i will see you in the next video 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 steam power 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 thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you as always goodbye